Hello everyone, welcome in again. I want to remind you, you're going to hear rain and thunder in the background. We're in a natural environment. Things are not always peaceful around, you know, unless I edit out everything and I'm not editing nothing. So, welcome into my channel again. Love you more, 555. Uh, this is going to be a general collective message. If you're new here and you feel guided to do so, I would like you to do a subscribe to the platform and hopefully leave me a like. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, peace and prosperity. I mean it every time I say it, and every time I say it, I mean it. I truly, truly, truly do. Okay, I'm gonna clear the energy, call them my protection. We're gonna get started. I am spiritually protected from all who wish me harm. I am physically protected from all ill will that may have a negative effect on my safety, health, and well-being. So mote it be. And what's the same to those who come across my channel? Um, you know, with good intentions. Those with bad intentions, you know what you can do. Shoot, fly, shoot, fly. Don't bother me. Have a good day. Okay. Let's get right into this. I'm going to look into my little mini made deck. And at the bottom, we see we have over. R.I.P. Something is over, over. What's going on we have ancestors okay we have my little feather you want to see it ancestors ancestors your guys okay your guys are out here you may have the first middle or last name can start with the letter V okay somebody with the letter V has something to do with this Victor Vicky Victoria Valerie Valley okay W and it could be a woman. I could be talking to a woman. We got W, first, middle, or last initial. Put that right there. Okay. What else? We have M, man, first, middle, or last initial. Okay. So we could be talking about a couple. I, first, middle, or last initial. We have the star. Somebody could be an Aquarius here, um, uh, masculine or feminine. Okay, it's a heal, healing, wish fulfillment. Okay, the star card. Ancestors, guys. Okay, commitment. There's a okay. There's a wish fulfillment uh, with union. I feel like there's a woman and a man coming together. This is being spiritually guided. Okay. New path, new direction. See my little street? Um, this could be a new person. This could be a new love coming in. This person is being guided towards you. This person may have an L in their first, middle, or last name. This person dealings with money. This person may work with money. This man, here you go, right here. Confirmation, all right? That could be a man with the initials L. They may work with money, deals with money. So this person could be an accountant. This person may be a cashier. Hell, people don't always have to have luxury jobs. Chaos storm. This is like the tower. This is going to happen unexpectedly. Hidden intentions, emotions, or secrets. The moon. This could be a secret admirer. Somebody can also be a cancer. This L could stand for Leo. That Leo cancer cusper may come out a lot. X marks the spot. We got hidden enemy with X. So somebody here, you got an X that's a hidden enemy, okay? There's a snake, okay, that you need to watch out for. They may have the initial S, first, middle, or last name. Something is going on with divine timing right here, okay? Then we have transformation, and we have J, first, middle, or last initial. Over, over, something could be over with someone with the initial J here. P, H, H, P. Oh, happiness. HP, happiness. That could be a new, a new person coming in. Okay? Some of y'all, there's a new love on your path coming in. Okay, let's look at this real quick. We don't want to stay here too long, all right? Yeah, but this looks to be like a new person to me, y'all. That's beautiful. Hey, no past energy. But that, that could be an ending with someone, okay? Mm, mm, let's go. Mm, mm. Where's my damn book at? Mm. Excuse me, y'all. No, I'm looking for this book and these cards. I'm not fucking with that. Okay, let's go. Recent past. We have the Ten of Pentacles, and it tried to come out in reverse. 
you know, someone you could have made a family with, someone you could have celebrated with, okay? Or this person may have a lot of money, whoever this is, Ten of Pentacles, they may own a company. This is like, um, either this could be a restaurant or you know how the lunchroom and, and a, like a factory or something like that where everybody sit down and eat together. Okay, there's going to be some type of togetherness with you and this person. Some whoever's coming towards you with the Ten of Pentacles, this person could be wealthy or, you know, just really financially stable. You know, their wealth could be energetically, it could be physically something tangible you can see. But this is a new commitment coming in. In the recent past, you know, somebody recently, either they got their finance together or they came into some money, something like that, whoever this masculine is, okay? Mm, what's currently going on? Thunder and lightning. Friction. Mm, there's a lot going on behind the scenes that you can hear in the background of me, right? Something that you can't see with the infinity, but it's something that's going to give you longevity. I feel like something is being balanced out. There's a balancing act happening when it comes to your love life, whoever I'm talking to, Okay. Oh, my head itch. In a future position, what's going on? Future position. We have the Queen of Cups. Okay. You're going to be emotionally fulfilled, happy. Okay. This could be someone who likes to spoil you. That look like meat on that plate. This could be like filet mignon, the champagne next to you. She, like, she has on a beautiful gown. There's flowers. This is a nice setup, but she is by herself too. It's a small table. So she could be she could be by herself who is Queen of Cups is, or I feel like uh, make room for a second plate setting at that table. You may not be by yourself. See the thunder? Confirmation. You may not be by yourself too much longer, okay? What's the reason why this is happening? Six of Cups. Something associated with the past. What also flew out was the Nine of Cups and the Page of Coins. This is a new offer coming in. What's going on now is something associated with the past. Could be a past life. Now, the potential outcome of the situation. Ace of Swords, a victory. And it say, look, I got the job in the corner. Yeah, I got this job. So, you may meet this person through work. Eight of Wands, okay? You may start communicating. You may be out at like a, a, a one of them jobs. You know how the job had like the uh, the picnics or the potluck, something like that. Uh, maybe y'all going to go out to celebrate something when it comes to work with the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here could also work in law. Somebody could just want a big case. We have the Hierophant up under there, and then we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh, then we have the Three of Swords, and then the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Queen of Swords, Four of Wands, Death Card. That could be a Cancer, a King of Cups, a Water Sign. That could be disappointed because someone is in the Queen of Swords energy towards them. This Queen of Swords is going towards the Four of Wands and the Death, uh, so a transformation, a rebirth. A new opportunity. They're going towards the emperor, the moon. Someone who always had, already has like hidden intentions, hidden emotions, four coins that they've been holding back. But I feel like they are heavily inspired by this queen of swords, and they want to come to us to bring justice. This is someone page of swords that's watching. This person may be really popular in the world or well known in the world. Okay, this person may travel a lot too. Eight of coins, they may travel a lot for work. Magician, somebody know how to manifest. So let's see, let's do a little clarifying, all right? In the recent past, we have the Ten of Pentacles. What is this? What is significant is this of this relationship coming together? Nine of coins. Oh, because somebody became independent. So this could be like somebody who's to work for a larger corporation. They could have broke off into their own like private practice, whatever they do. It could be anything. Somebody could have recently, in the recent past, somebody could have became like an entrepreneur. They could have started working for themselves and they could have brought this person a lot of success, a lot of wealth. This person could have previously worked, like I said, for a big company 
a large company, a large, a large corporation, a large group, and they decided to go out on their own, okay? This here, this person is complete when it comes to their finances. Now this person is looking for wish fulfillment when it comes to love. This is someone, confirmation again, thunder. This is someone that has been searching, I feel like, for their self, you know, very early on. This person could be young. This entrepreneur could be young and very successful, but they got everything they want. Now this person, you know, I'm looking at this woman over here on the table. She got a stroll on the edge of the table. I never paid attention to that. There's a, like a younger woman here, and there's another woman here. It's like family. This person is ready for a family now, whoever this is. They've, they've, um, they've acquired their success they have, they've acquired wealth in this world now this person won't love this person won't wish fulfillment when it comes to love okay give me something else on this ten of pentacles the devil this is someone who's an overachiever this is someone who had to find a balance between work and life with the devil. This could have been someone who's obsessed with becoming successful to the point where they blocked out relationships, okay? This is someone who's changing that now. This Nine of Pentacles is like a free spirit energy. This is someone who's changing that around. They want more structure in their life, okay? Mm. And the current energy, what is Two of Pentacles going on here? What is this? Please and thank you. Okay, three of wands. Ooh, expansion, growth. We have two cards over here. We have the empress and the six of swords. So this person has, you know, decided to come towards you. They see you as someone that could be the mother of their child. They see you as someone nurturing. They also see you as someone, you know, Six of Swords talks about peace, calm, you know, moving on to calmer waters after storm. This person finds you to be very, like, peaceful, center, queen of cups. They find you to be very peaceful, very regulated in your emotions, very balanced in your emotions. They are very attracted to you. But more than anything, I feel like they're very curious about you. They, they, you know, this person could be obsessed with you too, by the way, with the devil energy here. So far, we have Libra, Taurus, Capricorn. We have the Ace of Swords, and, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, there's no other majors out here yet. I only call my signs off the majors and the Aces, okay? So there's air energy, uh, heavy on the Libra here. All right, Six of Swords is Aquarius energy too. Okay, the star over here is the um, is Aquarius, so you could be a, like I said, a Queen of Swords. All right, what is this future energy with this Queen of Cups? I feel like somebody is going to be emotionally fulfilled. You're going to be very happy with someone. This is someone who you're going to be able to like be yourself with. Huh. Six of Wands, Knight of Swords. This is someone who's very inquisitive. This person could be a little impulsive. You may not like that about them. Okay, that cause something that they need to regulate, regulate their emotions when it comes to that. This person is really career focused, really obsessed with their work, their money, their stability. Okay, this could have been someone who had lack when they was growing up. And they vowed when they got when they became an adult that they wasn't gonna live like that. Okay, but this is someone here who wants to have victory with you. And I feel like ooh, confirmation. I feel like this is going to come in pretty freaking quickly and it's going to transform pretty quickly. Knight of Swords is going to come in. This person could be an air sign too, by the way. Um, the Knight of Swords energy, this person is going to come towards you. Bam, they're going to let you know what's up. This person is very direct, straight to the point, like, like King of Swords energy, okay, to your Queen of Swords. This person is very analytical they could become a little obsessive in their thoughts and in their patterns this person i feel like also this person is learning with the queen of cups their self try how to regulate their emotions and be calm and, and be in the present moment and again something about work-life balance when i see the nine of pentacles ten of pentacles and the devil it's someone who's obsessed with wealth obtaining material gain okay now this person could be looking for more of the romantic aspects of things like their love life this person like i said this person don't even have to be older this could be a very young entrepreneur that is very successful and very financially successful it's something about nine of pentacles excuse me ten of pentacles to the nine of pentacles this is like someone was working for a larger corporation they broke off into independent work they started working for themselves or they took control of whatever they was doing they narrative they took control of their money 
Say for instance, somebody's in the public eye, uh, like an artist, a singer, something. This person could have went independent, okay, and they making a lot of more money, okay. Connected to a corporation, I feel like they wasn't getting what they wanted because these people they was connected to, whoever this is, and business wise was very greedy. So this masculine couldn't prosper like he wanted to, but when he separated, look victory ace of swords that's the future outcome and this is also letting you know if this person come towards you not if when they come towards you it's a yes you can accept this offer the ace of swords is in the upright this is someone who deals in truth and clarity okay and whatever they've done to get money or acquire their wealth we ain't i ain't thinking about that right now they're not going to jail now they not any in any type of trouble so you know hell if this person worked a lot maybe you know didn't really sometimes didn't leave the office or whatever like i said they was connected to a company that was also really draining them and require a lot out of this person could be an over giving they stuff to someone and they finally like a light bulb came on to like okay you know you do this and that you don't you know how to do this you know how to do that why don't you open your own business that somebody took a chance on themselves and it worked out for them six of cups and the you know core reason why this circumstance is coming about we have the page of coins a new offer told you y'all was going to hit thunder and lightning. Every time I say I'm about to make a specific point, the thunder hit, okay? Uh, you know, I don't know if it's coincidence or confirmation, okay? Look, things could just be happening, okay? But page of coins. This is an ace of pentacles, okay? This is the page of pentacles. The page of pentacles in the aspects of a person is someone who's reliable, dependable, loyal, okay? This person is focus on becoming you know wealthy stable they're trying to get to the king of pentacles so this could be definitely a younger person but i feel like they are very financially stable the chariot okay cancer energy this is someone who is ready to move forward in life with a partner they're tired of riding you know alone this person is tired of being alone if this is a water sign they're tired of being alone they have all this luxurious life they this lavish food and all these luxuries but they don't have a missus to share that with this could be a feminine man okay he could be like a divine feminine you may be more masculine woman you could be a divine masculine so i said you could be an air sign okay Libra, not even. I was, I was baffled when I started really getting into astrology and found out Libra because they ruled by Venus. That they are masculine polarity. Okay, so the outcome is the Ace of Swords. Okay, mm, it's the Eight of Cups fell over here. What else is this? The Seven of Wands and the Five of Wands. This person left a competitive situation when it comes to their work to branch out on their own. And I feel like it has brought them success. We have the four of wands try to pop over again. Clarify this ace of swords. Yourself, yeah, somebody is coming towards you, okay? And for some of y'all, it could be a cancer, okay? Eight of swords, nine of wands, judgment. Somebody chose to free they suffer from a situation that they felt stuck in, and this is their work. This is someone pulling their hair out. Look at this part. They got all them files behind them on the computer. This person can't even have a break. They really overworked and gave a lot to this company that they branched off from. But it's something. It's like they got some type of epiphany idea, and they branched out. And I feel like they made a fine decision to go on their own. And, you know, I feel like this has made them successful. The tower here. This has made someone very successful. The fool. Because look, they took a leap of faith. This person took a leap of faith. Okay, I feel like they have fear, anxiety around this at first. But the five of cups, page of swords. But I feel like they started doing some studying, some researching, okay, with the page of swords. And they came up with the idea, okay, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. You know, it's time for me to celebrate myself, okay? Two of Wands, this person, again, started doing more research, started taking care of things they needed to take care of. And look, they stable. Now they looking for Queen of Pentacles, okay? The star. Star. Miracles. Wish fulfillment. Happiness. Destiny. Alignment. Okay? And overall, healing. Seven of Cups. The Magician. Eight of Coins. This person was working at a job or working with a company or dealing with whoever they deal with in business. It was really draining this person. 
to the point where this person was very overly focused on their career, you know, and like I said, the people they connected with, you know, they was very devilish, you know, very toxic. But this person is branched off from them. Now this person wants to be in a commitment. They want to be in a relationship with someone. Let's see. Let's get a couple of these. So there's a new person coming in. This person could be wealthy. This person could be a cancer. What do you need to release? <laughs> Wayne and Moon. This talks about releasing. This person is re this person released a company, a group of people, whoever have they have they make their money. They was a part of a bigger hierarchy, a bigger group of people. This person branched off nine of pentacles on their own and they became successful. Your hard work is paying off. New Moon and Capricorn. This person could be a Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn. Confidence is key to success. New Moon and Leo. Because it's a confidence, the key to your set. This could have been a Leo who broke away from a larger group of people. Okay? Take away it resonates. We have be bold and make the first move. Cardinal Moon. Cardinal is Cancer. Capricorn. Aries. And ba -ba -ba. Libra. All right? This person could be one of them signs. You could be one of them signs. Especially a Libra here, okay? We have the end of a tough cycle approaches. New moon in Capricorn. Excuse me, full moon in Capricorn. Capricorn energy three, four times on this board, okay? Somebody could be a Capricorn or you have Capricorn placements. Heavy, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or North Node. Believe in the impossible at this time. The answers you need are coming. Full Moon and Gemini. Communication here. Somebody's going to break the barrier. And somebody's going to proceed forward and communicate. Which they're going to break the silence between you and them. Have faith in your dreams. Waxing Crescent Moon. Crescent Moon is divine feminine energy. So this could be someone's coming towards a divine feminine. And keep in mind too, because the Queen of Cups came in, you could be a water sign. But I feel like this is actually the masculine energy. Someone has learned to have a work-life balance. Someone is not so much overly focused on material gain. This person is now actually won't, you know, to be in a union. This person could be working with their ancestors and their guide really heavily to bring in wish fulfillment for them. To get in alignment, to get this commitment, to go on this new path. All right? But whoever this is, I feel like they're young. They're not that old. If at best, late 30s, max. No older than that. They could be, but I'm not getting that. This person could be, you know, hey, maybe 34, 35 coming to mind for some reason. You know, this person could be, you know, younger. They could just ready be ready to start life out, okay? This could be a person for some of y'all. This could be a person that I keep in mind that they may have children. And they may have a kid or two with somebody else, but they're not with this person. I know they. I know y'all sound like they sound crazy as shit. No, this person actually ready to be a family, and committed to someone. Doesn't mean they don't take care of their child or their kid. May have two. Doesn't mean they don't take care of their children. Just mean that this person is ready to actually be in a healthy relationship where the mother and the father is in the same home. Does that make sense? If it don't, you know, just. Let it run in your head and marinate a little bit. But this is someone who's ready to be in a committed relationship, and they actually want marriage. This is someone, again, I feel like they've acquired the wealth. And for some of y'all, they don't have any children, and they want you to be the first person. You can be a Libra or a Taurus. They want you to be the first person that bear their child. And keep in mind, too, they could be a Libra or a Taurus. Hell, take it where it resonates, okay? Mm. Hold on. Let's just be nosy. Before I close it, okay, let's see. Give me a free science. Oh, they gave me two. We have cancer and motherfucking the moon. Cancer. Somebody's a cancer here. You, him, okay. There's a cancer here that has hidden emotions for someone. This person could be younger. They go Libra. There could be a Libra and a cancer coming together. Y'all make a good couple, okay. Two cardinal energy, two go-getters, two people that know how to make shit happen, two people know how to balance things out, two people that tap in with their emotions. This is a beautiful connection. Could be a Libra and a Cancer coming together, okay? We also have Neptune. We have Pisces here. We also have water, heavy water, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have Mars, Scorpio, Aries energy, okay? There's an emperor. 
whoever this masculine is, they're an emperor. Okay, oh hell, you could be an emperor too because you may be a masculine feminine. And last but not least, Jupiter. There's luck surrounding this connection coming in. Sagittarius, Pisces energy. So heavy on the Pisces and Cancer and Libra. Okay, heavy Pisces, Cancer, and Libra. Virgo slid out and then, I forgot, excuse me, Capricorn too. Okay, that could be a level of obsession. This masculine could be obsessed with work. Now they're obsessed with your ass coming towards you, okay? Sagittarius, Aquarius, Aries, okay? Definitely heavy on the Capricorn, Libra, and Cancer here. Oh, excuse me, Pisces too. Um, This look like it's going to be a good connection. You and this person, I feel like also... This person got an idea for you, you know, how to an idea how to incorporate you not only in their life, something about their business. They're going to let you in on something with their business. I feel like it's going to bring you a lot of fortune. All right? Peace out.